G'day, I'm Graham from Downtown Customs in Tari, and this is my shop. The way I got started in this business was uh, when I was about 19, I found mini trucks and just couldn't believe how low they were. I then met a guy called uh, Jason Luttrell who introduced me to the fabrication side of it all and taught me a lot and taught me that cars are basically just metal and you can't wreck them, you just chop them up. I built a couple of mini trucks of my own um, and we were just doing it in the backyard as a hobby, a bit of fun, you know. And then as I got older, I wanted more. I wanted to learn how to fabricate, you know, bigger and better things. And then I decided I was going to start a shop. And that's when downtown was born. Yeah, so with the bike we made quite a few modifications. We've uh, converted to, to rigid, we put a spring in front end on it. We made a tank, uh, fender, basically everything's changed. The only stock part of the, the bike is the, the main front hoop of the, of the frame. The engine's standard, but it's been stripped right down and rebuilt from every nut and bolt up. A 1966 Triumph Trophy, it's been bought out to a 750. Um, yeah, once again, there's not much original left on that. It's only the front of the frame, really. Riding the bike's a bit of a, a, bit of a mission, especially around Tari, is the roads are just terrible. But uh, out on the freeway, it's pretty good. It's you know, as, as good as a rigid 1966 Triumph can be, I guess. It started off as dead stock. I, I, I purchased it from a guy in Queensland and rode it stock until uh, I blew it up on the freeway. And then we decided, I think we better chop it up. So we yeah, built it to what it is today. Uh, this is a HQ Monaro for a guy called Peter Sharp. And it's basically just full pro touring driver. Yeah, it's, uh, he's, he wants to drive it around Australia. That's right, yeah, we work uh, closely with our engineer to uh, ensure that it'll be fully registered and street legal. So basically with this car, we, we started with a, a rotted out shell, had nothing left, and we've just refabricated and re-engineered everything to, to what the customer wanted. Uh, there's probably 20% that's standard. The motor and gearbox combo We've got an LSX 376, and it's a B15, uh, which is the, the GM performance engine that's designed for a supercharger. We're running a uh, Harrop 2300 blower on the top. Uh, custom pulleys from uh, Wagner in the States. Uh, in, the, in the rear, we've, we've got a nine inch, custom nine inch diff with uh, full floaters, 31 spline billet axles, uh, big Harrop brakes again. Uh, air suspension all around to get it down to the ground and obviously to lift it up to drive it. We're aiming to have this car finished and unveiled at MotorX 2015. Uh, MotorX 2014 will be completely finished and drivable in bare metal. So the little hot rod we're building, uh, we've used a 1928 Essex chassis or part of um, and then just modified it. Basically the whole, the whole aim of this hot rod was to get it to lay flat on the ground with bags. I think that's just the mini truck and coming out of me. But um, yeah, it's uh, snowballed into something that I couldn't have even dreamt of when I started. It's, we've got a 1931 uh, Ford Tudor body, uh, Crate 350, 350 gearbox, we've got cantilever airbag suspension, front and rear. It's, uh, it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be basically driven bare metal. The interior is going to be bare metal. Um, yeah. So after five and a half years of hard work, we've uh, expanded. I've got two employees. My head fabricator, Damien Parker, and young fella Jai, who's a uh, gun panel leader. Um, got a nice big facility. Basically every tool we could, we could ever want in the shop. We do everything in-house take care of bare rails right up to you know finishing paint and panel. Plumbing, you know, brake lines, fuel lines, fuel systems, everything. Uh, the most enjoyable part of this job is I've basically turned my hobby into my career so I get to come to work every day and, and do, do things I love. And the fabrication, the fabrication side of this business is its main, main calling card and that's what I love to do.